Hey guys, you're watching Ogre of Gaming in Progress. Today we're reviewing the ASUS N550JK DS71T laptop. Is it a budget gaming laptop? Find out in this review. This is how we do The ASUS N550JK DS71T model laptop is one of the latest ASUS offerings for a sleek, business-class laptop that looks classy but also packs a big punch when it comes to hardware. I originally picked this up from Exotic PC for college and was presently surprised with all its functions. Not only does it look professional, but it has some pretty impressive specs that may will make it a competitor against Alienware's Alienware 14, and now Alienware 14, WTF Dell. This computer packs an i7 4100HQ 2.4 to 3.4 GHz processor, 8GB of RAM, and NVIDIA GTX 850M graphics card stock. It's not one of the most powerful cards in the world, but it handles most games just fine. You can play Battlefield 4 on relatively high settings, between 40 and 30 FPS, and Dragon Ball Xenoverse, if you disable V-Sync, caps out at about 80 to 90 FPS. Minecraft is easily maxed out as well. The laptop comes with a 1TB, 5400 RPM hard drive, so I'd recommend switching it out with a 7200 RPM hard drive or a solid state drive for faster boot times. I have a 7200 RPM hard drive. The boot time from Windows 8.1 is fairly impressive to say the least. The IPS touchscreen panel isn't too shabby either. It delivers amazing color clarity, however for gaming, I would prefer a matte screen to cut down on the glare. The battery life on this laptop is pretty standard for laptops within its price range. It'll get less than an hour for gaming. Well, in turn down in balance mode, you can get over two hours for just note taking and basic web browsing. But for the college student on the go, bringing your charger with you is a must. I was a little disappointed with the battery life for gaming, considering how Nvidia boasts about how energy saving the GTX 800M line of graphics card is supposed to be. The chassis of this laptop is very well built, as expected. Zeus. The body is a nice solid aluminum that will have no give to it whatsoever. It feels solid, like a good laptop should, however it does have a tendency to collect dust and fingerprints so easily so that's something you should probably be aware of. The keyboard isn't the most fluid, but once you get used to typing on it, it's a breeze. The laptop boasts Bang & Olsen speakers and a nice external speaker that amplifies bass. At first, I thought this was really gimmicky and I wouldn't use it. But now, I can't listen to music without it, it boosts the quality but tenfold. The left side of your computer contains a plug for your power supply, external speaker port, Ethernet port, HDMI port, mini HDMI port, two USB 3.0 ports, and a headphone jack. There is no mic input, which is disappointing. My last Alienware had a mic input, so if you want a decent mic, you'll have to get a USB headset. I recommend a Logitech G430s. I will get into that in another review. On the right side of the computer is a contenting slot lock, a standard DVD drive, a USB 3.0 port, and an SD card slot. My biggest gripe with this computer was the driver issues I had when I first got it. This varies from computer to computer, but many people who have bought this model computer from ASUS has complained that the backlit keyboard doesn't work on some of their computers and you would have to contact ASUS for the correct drivers. I had this issue, and it is about the most frustrating thing in the world to wait on the phone for an hour to talk to a guy from Taiwan so he can tell you what you already know is wrong with your computer. If it wasn't for these driver issues when these laptops first shipped, it would have a perfect score. But instead, the score drops down to 4 out of 5. This computer is a definite buy for anyone who wants a laptop within its price range. This thing is a workhorse, beating out nearly every competitor in its price range. It can handle rendering images in 4K and well beyond. The website that I'm working on, its background, is rendered in 540p, and editing videos and software like Sony Vegas and After Effects is a breeze. It is great for a college student on the go that wants the game, but doesn't have the money to drop on a $2,000 laptop like the Alienware 17 and 18 but still want to have a laptop that packs the nuts punch to be well ahead of the Xbox One and PS4. So, did you agree with this review? Do you have any further questions? Is there anything I missed? Let me know in the comments below. If you've had any experiences of your own with this laptop that you would like me to try, uh, try to help you figure out, or any problems, let me know in the comments below. 
I'm Ogre of Gaming the Progress, and I'm out.